Mastering Articles and Determiners, Singular versus Plural Nouns. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of articles and determiners. More specifically, we'll be exploring how to correctly use articles and determiners with singular and plural nouns. This topic might seem tricky, but with some practice and understanding, you'll be able to master it in no time. To understand the usage of articles and determiners with singular and plural nouns, it's crucial to know what these terms mean. Articles in English include the a and n, which we use before nouns. Determiners are words placed in front of a noun to make it clear what the noun refers to. Examples of determiners include this, my, which, etc. Remember, articles are actually a subcategory of determiners. When we talk about singular nouns, we mean only one of something. For example, dog, apple, chair, are all singular nouns. If the singular noun is specific, we use the definite article, the. For instance, I sat on the chair. If the singular noun is non-specific and starts with a consonant, we use a. For example, she has a dog. If the singular noun is non-specific and starts with a vowel, we use n. For instance, he ate an apple. Plural nouns indicate more than one of something. For example, dogs, apples, chairs, are all plural nouns. When the plural noun is specific, we use the definite article, the. For example, I love the dogs in that park. When the plural noun is non-specific, we don't use an article. For instance, I love dogs. Determiners can be used with both singular and plural nouns. However, the noun must agree with the determiner in terms of quantity. If we're talking about one thing, we use a singular noun. For instance, this book is interesting. If we're talking about more than one thing, we use a plural noun. For example, these books are interesting. Let's do some exercises to test your understanding. Here, the presenter will give a series of multiple choice questions, with the viewers encouraged to pause the video to think about their answers before the correct ones are revealed. That wraps up our exploration of using articles and determiners with singular and plural nouns. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing and soon these grammar rules will become second nature to you. Thanks for watching and keep up your English language learning journey. We'll catch you in our next video.